ते शून्यना जाणीव दृश्यना नेणीव ज्ञप्ती मात्र भरीव स्वस्वरूप सो आफ्टर निगेटिंग द शून्य द नथिंगनेस देन व्हॉट इट इज ते शून्य ना से इट इज नॉट द नथिंग नथिंगनेस इज नॉट द ट्रूथ जाणीव दृश्य ना नेणीव neither it is it can be known can nor it can remain unknown see because it is beyond the known and unknown therefore what it is it is nyapti matra bhariva it is solid consciousness see when these words are used consciousness awareness any word you take in any language if you do not have a proper reference to context you can never get the meaning conveyed by that word normally what happens we hear so many mahatmas and then the mahatmas are using the words because they have to use the words so somebody uses the word the awareness somebody says consciousness somebody says it is love it is love love somebody says it is being just be in this manner when we use the words or when we listen read we must know in what context a particular word is used So here nyapti matra bhariva means what bhariva means solid solid means what gold is solid so in that gold other than gold there is nothing solid nyapti matra solid nyapti the knowledge whether you take it as knowledge or you take it consciousness or awareness doesn't matter whether you are able to cognize you are able to communicate with that truth see so nyapti matra bhariva bhariva means solid that means there is no otherness so whether you take nyapti means consciousness nyapti means awareness nyapti means pure knowledge whatever you take doesn't matter what matters is that where the duality or the sense of otherness or the triputi does not have any place see swasvarupa that is our essential nature now don't get lost by uh, in words je nirantara nirmal gnana ghana kevala chida akash akhila agochara जे निरंतर निर्मळ वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस थिंग एन स्टॉप ॲट चिदाकाश जे निरंतर निर्मळ नेवर देर इज एनी टाईम प्लेस वेअर इन देर इज एनी इम्प्युरिटी दॅट कॅन बी ॲडेड बिकॉज व्हॉट इज द इम्प्युरिटी इन द नॉलेज देश काल वस्तू टाईम स्पेस अँड ऑब्जेक्ट ई द इम्प्युरिटी and when we say god is all pervading it is actually a wrong statement god is not all pervading everything is in god see when we say god is in all the three periods of time that means you are given time a reality see friends ye nirantara nirmala where there is no impurity of time space and object if you drop the time space and object then see what happens to you just now how to drop that wherever i am whenever i am whatever i am i shall be 100% percent. so wherever i am we have dropped the space whenever i am we are drop the time whatever i am we are drop the individuality okay. so when we say 
wherever, that we don't care. See, it doesn't matter where you are. See? Therefore, je nirantara nirvana jnana ghana kevara, which is solid knowledge, what was said in the earlier one as nyapti, the same thing is referred here, jnana ghana kevara, it is solid knowledge. Kevara, where there are no differences, on account of sajatiya vijatiya sogata bheda. This, the, these things you must be now clear. Vijatiya bheda, differences on account of the types. So animals are different from the plants, vijatiya. Sajatiya bheda, all are plants, but one is a mango tree, the second is an apple tree. So this is the sajatiya bheda, differences within the species. Then there is only one uh, tree, and in that tree, roots are not the trunk, trunks, uh, trunk is not the branches, branches are not the leaves, leaves are not the flowers, flowers are not the fruits. See? So, that is a Svagata Bheda, difference within the species, specimen. Svagata is differences within the specimen, and uh, differences within the species is the sajatiya bheda and differences of any kind is the vijatiya bheda. Therefore, jnana ghana kevara. So what will be the difference here in the knowledge? Knower known knowledge, jiva jagat ishvara. All these differences disappear and then what remains is chidakasha akhila agochara. See, friend, this we don't have to do anything. Only come to cognize. And how to do this? Grass space supports everything, opposes nothing, but doesn't get influenced by anything. So practice this. Then what will happen? Body and the limitations of the body will not be a big issue for us. Then all the possessions, all the relations, they will be dropped. Drop means what? We will be with them, but we will not get influence. Otherwise, we keep on worrying. See? We want to go and help others, but we should find out, are we capable? This is what many elderly people do not understand. They have got good intentions, but they are not able to do what they want to do because of the age factor. Then instead of having uh, being an asset, we become a liability. Therefore, we live as a space, support to whatever extent we can, if you cannot, forget. Then we come to the, the chitta kash. There will be all kinds of thoughts in the mind, don't worry about it. Mind is not worried, why are you worried? Then we come to Chidakash. Chidakash is the one supporting the waker, dreamer, deep sleeper and the Turiya. All of them are supported by the same truth. And what is that? In that experience, Chidakash, there is no difference between the waker, dreamer, deep sleeper, Turiya. All of them are null and void. That is the Chida Akasha Akhila Agochara. Agochara, it cannot become an object of 
experience through any known means of knowledge.